Brian Miss, another great figure at ThinkPetToyStore.com. What's going on guys? Bolt Matrix here and today we are taking a look at Transformers Robots in Disguise Deluxe Class Drift. This drift is a little bit different than the ones we are used to in the fact that he looks like an orange samurai. Not complaining about the aesthetic, I just find the coloring a little weird. Anyway, let's go ahead, get him out of the box, and take a look. Straight out of the box, Drift actually looks really good. I'm really liking the color scheme we have here with the black, the orange, and the red and silver highlights. I like it a lot. The legs are a little bit too thick for my taste, and what I mean by that is there's a lot of car kibble hanging off of it. I mean, the entire roof of the vehicle is just hanging off. He does come with two swords, a katana and a wakasashi. You can mount both of them on his hip. I like that. I like it when they actually do store the weapons. My only real complaint about this mode is, well, the back. There's just a bunch of car kibble hanging off the back, but it's it's forgivable. It really is. The one thing I did notice about the figure that does kind of weird me out, though, is the tires are so thin, plastic-wise, they're translucent. It's very, very strange. I love Drift's head sculpt. I really, really do. It works well. I love Drift's head sculpt. It works so well. It's got a Gundam Samurai-esque vibe, and he's got a little Fu Manchu in there. Yeah, I realize that that's a Chinese facial or facial hair with a Japanese samurai helmet. Eh, who cares? Paint's good. Overall, head sculpt is quite good on this figure. Drift has some decent posability. His head is on a swivel. There are swivel joints in the shoulders, swivels above the elbows, a double hinge at the elbow, and then a swivel here at the wrist for in and out movement, ball joint on the hips, a swivel above the knee, and then a hinge for the knee. And then he's got slight hinges here on the feet for the transformation. Overall, you can get some decent poses with him and his swords. Head, as I said, is on a swivel. I like this pose personally. It just works for me. The one thing that I do appreciate greatly is these 3.5 millimeter clips that are just above his hips for his side skirts. His side skirts can flip up to allow his legs to pose. A very, very smart addition on Hasbro's part. Drift's transformation is pretty easy, but satisfying. So let's go ahead and get into it. Drift's heavily modified Bugatti Veyron look is really, really cool, and I find it funny because I think he might be from Texas, because that looks like a longhorn bull to me. But overall, I think the orange, the black, and the red work fantastically for a vehicle mode like this. Something that's also really neat is he has these little pegs underneath the vehicle mode to store his swords, and they don't fall off. As long as you push them in all the way, they stay perfectly fine. Overall, I think the vehicle mode looks gnarly, and, and, and gnarly in that really, really cool way. However, I think his greatest enemy in this mode is going to be speed bumps. The dude has no ground clearance. Overall, I think Drift is a fun figure. He's not perfect. He has some flaws, especially with the paint. The orange paint here on the top of the car is not the same as the orange paint everywhere else. And that's the bumblebee yellow problem. And I don't know what it is about these figures, but they can't seem to just get the same colors working all the time. But that's my biggest gripe, in all honesty. Uh, that really is my biggest complaint about the figure, is some of the paint's a little off. Otherwise, he is a very, very fun figure, and I think he's definitely worth having in your Robots in Disguise collection. Uh, Robots in Disguise 2015, that is. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video review of Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Drift, not Deluxe Class. Sorry. As always, I am Bolt Matrix, asking you to like, comment, and subscribe, and please be sure to check out my channel for my next video review.